for every creature to survive, it must adapt to the world around it. As a result, man evolved from a monkey-like creature into what it is now. That is not a change in two years. It took millions of years for us to become able to stand on two legs, to talk, to hold objects in our hands and use them. And whether the order of evolution from all millions of years has now ceased or is still evolving, if not yet if evolution is taking place in man, as part of the evolutionary process, what changes are going to take place in the human body in the future? What are the evidences to say that evolution is still going on? Let us know many interesting things like this in this video going further into the topic, evolution is simply the change in the body of an organism from generation to generation due to the change in the DNA of each organism. In order to adapt to the conditions around it every living thing on earth, including man, undergoes changes in the body as part of an evolutionary process. But human evolution does not stop there. We may not realize it, but we are still evolving. There are still some examples to tell that evolution is happening. Let's see what they are. If we drink milk, even when we are older, if they are digested, it is because of evolution. Let's see why 10,000 years ago, if an adult drank milk, they would have indigestion and vomiting. Mammals, this means that lactating animals drink breast milk for a while after birth, but when they get a little older, they stop drinking breast milk, after which they are not digested, because they contain lactose sugars. The lactose enzyme in us to make them digest, but after some age the reason for the production of this lactose enzyme in mammals is that the genes switch off. So even after drinking milk at a certain age, the lactose enzyme or milk is not digested this is what happened in every living thing, including man, tens of thousands of years ago. But tens of thousands of years ago, the aborigines began to tame and raise animals such as buffaloes, cows, and goats, and made a habit of drinking their milk. As part of that evolution, almost 95% of people in the world digest milk when they grow up, but some people still vomit when they drink milk. Another example of evolution is that we can usually breathe for about 30 seconds, but most native people in Southeast Asia can breathe for up to 15 minutes. That's because the people there go to a depth of 70 meters in the ocean to hunt fish, so don't put anything like an oxygen cylinder on the go. They had the same livelihood there, so changes were made in their genes so that they could stay longer without breathing air. We have an organ called the spleen on the left side below the lungs which stores red blood cells filled with oxygen. Oxygen stored in this spleen travels throughout the body whenever we suffocate or when oxygen is not enough, but this spleen is 50% larger than the rest of the population, which means that it is necessary for their survival, so their DNA is altered and that evolution took place. However, the evolution of all of us continues to adapt to the current situation. This evolution causes changes in the organs within us to adapt to our survival or the loss of some organs that are not needed. Let us now look at some of the changes that will take place in us in the future as part of this evolution. 1. Our little toe. This little toe may not be there in the future. In the early days, people used to climb a lot of trees, such as jumping on trees. But after the habit of walking on two legs, the weight takes over the entire foot. Now we notice that the little finger does not use us when walking. It is of little use, so one estimate is that in another million years the toe will be gone, and only four will go. 2. Wisdom Tooth In ancient times, everyone had this wisdom tooth, which was used to chew raw meat at that time. But now we can cook and eat soft food so that it can be chewed easily, so there is no need for this wisdom tooth anymore. That is why 35% of the world's population does not have this wisdom tooth. But for some it comes down to it. This wisdom tooth will disappear completely in the future for some time to come. Also in prehistoric times the roots had large jaws that could be chewed. But as part of the evolution the size of these jaws and the number of teeth kept decreasing. Next, palmaris longus muscle, formerly monkeys, the palmaris longus muscle was used to hold and hang branches from trees. But now we do not live on trees. 
we don't need that muscle. So, as part of the evolution, the palmaris longus muscle in some people disappeared. If we put our thumb and forefinger together to see if we have that, it will be visible to us. Already 15% of the world's population does not have this muscle. However, the lack of this muscle does not weaken our hand or weaken the grip on the hand. But we do not need that muscle, so it disappears as part of evolution. Next, hair, when it was primitive, it was very cold and there were no clothes. So there was hair all over the body for protection from that cold. But now it is not so cold as well as wearing clothes. So there is no need for that hair anymore. That is why now most of the hair on our body is reduced compared to the past. By now some people have stopped getting hair on the chest. All of this is also part of evolution. No one has had hair on shit for a while. Also baldness has become ubiquitous for many people during this period. What can we do about it? All of this is also happening as part of evolution. Scientists say that after a few thousand years, everyone will be bald in the future. Next, brain size. The human brain has evolved in order to evolve from monkeys to become human. But over the past 20 years, the human brain has begun to shrink in size. When Homo sapiens, the brain size was 1500 cubic centimeters. But now the human brain has shrunk to 1350 cubic centimeters. That means we lost a brain about the size of a tennis ball. Also, the size of the brain will decrease further in the future due to the current technology. The reason is that the human brain is not used. For example, if we take a buffalo-like species, the buffalo brain that roams in the forest is slightly larger than the buffalo brain that is usually raised near our home because the buffalo in the forest have to obtain their own food and protect themselves from other animals. If they are not smart they cannot survive in those forests. But what we raise is not what these tensions are. There will be protection. Food arrives on time. That is why, even though they belong to the same species, the brain size of the ones we grow is less compared to those that roam in the forests. All Next, tailbone. Tails were present when monkeys were a few million years ago. But as part of the evolutionary process, when it became human, it disappeared due to lack of necessity. However it has not completely disappeared, we still have a small tailbone at the end of the spine. This tailbone is formed when we are a fetus in the womb, but growth stops because we do not need it. There have already been incidents of some babies being born with tails in some places. But in the future, the tailbone will also disappear completely from our body. Also some of us can make our ears move all over them. In the past, when in the forest the ears would move in that direction to know which sound was coming from which direction. Still, the ears of most animals, such as cats and dogs, can be seen moving. But as part of the evolution, the muscles needed to move the ears stopped working because we did not need it. But still in some people the muscles work so that their ears can move on their own. But in the future those muscles will no longer work in our body. Also, the appendix, which is said to be a useless organ in our body, may disappear as part of evolution. But some studies say, that this appendix may contain bacteria that are good for our body. But to a full extent, it is not known what its uses are. If it does not work for the body it will also become extinct as part of the evolution. But all that has been said so far is that evolution happens naturally. But in the future, with the technology called CRISPR, by changing the DNA in our body, the days are coming when we can select the player with the features we want while playing video games, as well as the unborn child. In the future, by editing the DNA, the newborn will be able to select what color and how tall he should be. If there are any hereditary diseases, they can be removed and the genes can be edited beforehand. In any case, for any organism to survive, it must adapt to the conditions of the day. Also evolution is not something that happens in one day or with anyone takes thousands, millions of years. Evolution takes place many generations later. Also evolution will continue as long as there is life on this earth.
If you like this video, like it and share it with your friends. To watch more interesting videos like this, subscribe the English School channel and activate the bell button next to it. Thanks for watching.